Hi everybody and thanks for joining me on this video. What we're going to be doing is trying out a new pattern, the new Olive Damsel. It's the first time it's been on the water. And like all our patterns, there's a bit of thought that goes into them. But I will tell you a bit more about the pattern in a later video. The whole purpose of this is to see what it does, how it fishes, and to start working out what its best retrieves would be. The pattern is designed to be fished near the top. It's unweighted and it's small. And the conditions we've got this morning is flat calm. The water hasn't had any stock for about four weeks. And going by the logbook, it looks like the fishing is going to be a bit tricky. So when we get out on the water, what we're going to do is continually fan cast. The pattern is going to be kept high in the water and the retrieve is going to be varied from a steady figure of eight up to a faster strip. But it's going to be more about trying to find out what speed the fish want. Now for a lot of the fish we're going to be targeting are going to be lower down in the water. And when that fish is lower in the water, its window of the surface is a lot wider. So when you're presenting any pattern nearer the surface, you're better off with a longer tippet. Okay, a simple diagram just to help explain. So we've got the two fish. One is lower in the water, the other is higher. The fish that is at the deepest part of the water has got the biggest window to the surface. And as that fish gets nearer the surface, the window is reduced. So if we were to present that fly in the same position on the longer or the shorter tippet to the fish that is lower in the water, we can see that the fly line with the longer tippet is outside the fish's window and the shorter tippet is inside the fish window. So we can see that the longer tippet could, in this situation, improve your chances. But there are going to be times when we're going to require a shorter tippet when we're fishing different methods. For a lot of the times we will fish up to 20 foot of tippet. But for the purpose of the video, I'm going to be fishing with closer to 10. And this is mainly to give you confidence if you're unable to fish with a 20 foot tippet. But the fish we are looking for are normally a bit lower down. And when you're fishing a bit higher in the water, these fish will often come up and take. Okay, it wasn't too long and I was into the first fish. Yeah, he's on. That's that olive nymph again. Okay, so I've decided to move. The fishing was getting a bit slow down at the other end of the lake. Now, over the last few weeks, we've been fishing the patterns with a bit more pace. And this is more so during the morning and the afternoon session. And this really does seem to be getting a much better response. Most of the patterns we're fishing are generally the smaller stuff, the largest being on a size 14. Such things as a small nymphs, the back, and I don't know for why, but the most popular colour seems to be more of the olive colours. Oh. 
biggest mistake I made then was lifting too aggressively into the fish. Um, all I did then was move the fly so far away from the fish. And because that was such a light take, if I could have kept control of my urge to lift and just line struck, I could have kept pattern within that area in the vicinity of the fish. You know, the chances are I could have had a second chance. Got a bit excited. <laughs> Okay, that's been pretty brilliant actually. Now, the conditions here today is so different. The, we're overcast, the temperatures are a bit lower. And we've had that blast of that hot weather. And for the last week, we've had unsettled weather. And that certainly seems to have brought the fish on. But earlier, what I was doing down the bottom end of the lake, I was moving the pattern a lot faster. I'm keeping it in the top, probably one foot, six inches to one foot. But what I've set up with is the floating line. Uh, I've got about, ooh, where's my dropper? My first dropper, my dropper's gone. <laughs> I, can't, I must, I, I had a knock on there as well, quite, and it wasn't that aggressive. Well, bugger me, I've been snapped off. Didn't even notice. Well, I had a little blue on the dropper, which was about, if you like, five to six foot off the main fly line. Another, where was that? Four, five, four foot to the point fly. Now, the pattern, it's, it's a new pattern I've been working with. Now, I started working with patterns, these small little damsel things, about two years ago. And the pattern that we were using then was, it was just too aggressive. The fish were swallowing it every time. And we had a lot of fish with it. And I was fishing it slow or static. I have got a video with that pattern on. and But the fish, as I say, they were just swallowing it every time. So it was no use. So we stopped fishing with it. And I'm working with it again. And now I've got a slightly different. I've taken off the beaded eyes. Uh, and lightened it up. And it's very slim. I'm going more and more smaller sparser and it really does seem to work thing is what i'm going to do though with this pattern is obviously i've got to fish it through a lot of conditions and at different times just to see if it really is the pattern because you can take any pattern out on on that one day you're going to end up having like every pattern has its day so i gotta just make sure by fishing this more consistently that it is the pattern and not just that odd day. But all I'm doing with the pattern, basically I'm, I'm putting it out and I'm fishing quite close in at start, a couple of rod lengths, checking that out, fan casting all the time and constantly switching the retrieve and the retrieve will be almost static. But when I'm static, I'm not got a lot of slack line. I'm putting it out and I'm taking up the slack and I've got contact between my hand and that fly. Uh, when you get that contact, that fly is gonna drop down. If you've got that fly and you've got no tension, it's just gonna hang and the tail's gonna come up and it's gonna drop slowly. But as soon as you put contact there and put a bit of tension, it'll actually, it moves that little bit. And I find that it's, that I pick up a lot more fish just by doing that. And it's a very slow, figure of eight uh, and once I've gone down a certain amount then I'll speed that up either a long long draw steady long draw and I'm finding more often that I'm getting more takes on a steady draw rather than a twitchy twitchy uh, figure of eight or something that does work at times like every retrieve will work at some point. But it's more consistent that when I'm just doing a steady constant that I seem to be picking more up. Okay, so after a bit of a break and we're back on the water, and the first thing you're gonna notice, we've got that bit of a ripple. Now this is gonna change everything as regards the retrieve. 
but it can be a good thing because I can now explain the difference in a retrieve in flat calm and a retrieve in the ripple. Okay, when I was out an hour or so ago and the water was dead flat and I was finding that that continuous draw seemed to be working. And as I'm on the floating line, I know that the pattern being unweighted is going to be at a certain level and it's going to be traveling at a certain speed. But now we've got the wind and the wind's going to pick the line up. So if I want to maintain the same level and the same speed, I need to slow the retrieve down. And if the wind picks up any more, I'm going to have to consider mending the line. So if you're ever out on the water and suddenly the fish seem to have gone off, it's worth considering the conditions at the time. Making a note of anything that could affect your presentation. But I'm going on the intermediate. The line I'm using is a Rio Aqua 2. It's in between 8 and 10 foot of tip, it might be a bit more. And of course I've got that new lure of mine. The haze black and blue. And this pattern's had a lot of fish. Count it down a little bit, move it a bit quicker, higher up. Now it, normally this could be a bit early and the fish might be a bit lower than I think. But sometimes you can be surprised as to where they are. Probably around 7, 7.30ish say. And, and the fish are normally starting to move higher in the columns. We will put this round, see what it does. Uh, this is unbelievable. Second cast. I was only letting it drop a small amount. And I was doing a steady draw. Uh, and the fish picked it up. Tell you, this is an unbelievable pattern mind uh, the boys have been using it a bit lately as well and they've struggled through the day they put this on and they're bagging up unbelievable these are so you know after all that hot weather we've had you wouldn't believe but then the conditions on these waters is totally different to a lot of waters around the country um but these fish you wouldn't believe that they, they are just so powerful it's the amount of oxygen in this water you know oh, straight out and the water temperature is unbelievable it's it's, it's actually pretty damn cold in there There you are, he's black and blue, back on it. I don't think, actually, and I swear it now, I don't think I've ever put that on and fished it and I've never not had a fish with it, it every time. Yes. That's him. I felt a bump just before it. Uh, it was so light, so I kept calm, not lifting the rod as I did earlier. So I was able to keep the fly in that zone, keep it going. And it picked me up. And even though I was doing a quite a quick figure of eight, 
it must have been following it and it just picked me up so gently. goes Ooh. it's unbelievable behind me here now I can hear this fish moving this fish starting to jump now uh, I have got the both rods still set up but I, I'm, I'm, I'm done now uh, I, I'm not gonna do any more uh, you see me with my jacket on most of the day possibly uh, even though the it looks quite bright, uh, that wind factor, it's quite chilly. Okay, I've got to be honest, I didn't think today was going to turn out like it had. Uh, for me, that is a blinder, it was a really good day. I don't even know how many fish I had altogether. Um, what you've seen is only a bit of it. I switched the cameras off near uh, whatever time, 10.30 or whatever time it was. But I did continue for about another three quarters of an hour or so. I ended up fishing in this arm here and I pulled two within no time and lost one in that arm. Uh, but I've had a good few fish and it's been a good day. That new pattern, that's something else. But this pattern is really working well. But as I say, every pattern has its day. So we're going to have to work with this a little bit harder yet before we would recommend that pattern. But so far it's looking good. As I say, what we're going to do, we'll fish it for a lot more hours yet. The boys will have theirs, they'll fish on. We'll fish them in different conditions. Obviously, I'll send a few out and they will be fished in different waters. And then obviously, if it turns out <laughs> that good, uh, I, I will do a tying video. As I say, I'm not going to do too many tying videos anyway, because there's only so many patterns that I think is worth you really looking into and making the effort to tie one. Um, and I got a funny feeling this is going to be one of them. But it was a brilliant day. Uh, this morning, fishing much, much smaller, uh, sparse, light, keep it up high, moving it a bit quicker, definitely. Um, as the sun was coming up, the fish were going down, um, and then they start slowing up as well. Come the afternoon, definitely, and previous trips I've had out, the Aqua 2 with that uh, haze b, b as the boys are calling it now, the black and blue, that pattern has never let us down. It really is a good pattern, and I'm fishing it fast, fishing it slow, static, um, but it really does work. And as soon as I put it on there earlier, I knew straight away I was going to be catching fish with it. Uh, my confidence in that that method and that pattern is is up there, uh, and I knew I was going to be picking fish up. One important point is I'm always in contact with my fly. There's never slack between my hand and the fly. Contact all the time, and I'm thinking about that fly, and I'm working it, and that is fishing. But I hope you enjoyed the video, and until the next video, take care.